Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Katie with John Henry's and today I'm going to share with you my family's favorite breakfast, homemade biscuits and gravy. When my family gets together with our best friends, we have a house full because they're a family of six as well. So with eight kids between us, every meal is go big or go home. Because we don't live close to each other, we often take turns spending the night at each other's houses. And to keep us going throughout the day, we know we need a strong cup of coffee and a delicious breakfast in the morning. Usually, I'm the one in charge of the gravy and my friend Jess makes the homemade biscuit. But unfortunately, she couldn't make it today, so I'm going to show you how to prepare this meal for your family. To begin, let's start by preparing our biscuits. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. In a large bowl, we'll whisk together our flour, baking powder, and salt. We will then cut in our shortening until the mixture resembles small crumbs. Then we will slowly stir in the milk until the dough pulls away from the bowl. Be sure to flour your work surface before you add your dough mixture. Remove the dough from the bowl and knead it about 15 to 20 times. Pat or roll the dough out to one inch thick. Cut out your biscuits using a biscuit cutter or a large glass dipped in flour. Repeat these same steps until all the dough is used. Add your biscuits to a baking sheet lined with a silicone mat or parchment paper. Bake it in the oven until the edges begin to brown, which usually takes between 13 and 15 minutes. Now that the biscuits are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start our gravy. To make the best gravy, you need to start with the best sausage. And I may be a little biased, but the sausage we make here at John Henry's is simply the best. The combination of organic spices that are ground into our pork is just perfect. The robust flavors in the spices mean that aside from salt and pepper, you don't need to add any other spices to your gravy. So let's go ahead and start off by adding two pounds of breakfast sausage into our large pan, along with a cup of water, and cook it on medium heat. Break it apart with a wooden spoon or a meat chopper utensil like I have here. Once the sausage is brown and crumbly, turn off the stove and begin to remove the meat from the pan and place it in a bowl. Use a slotted spoon or any type of utensil that will allow the juices to remain in the bottom of the pan. Once that step is complete, we will start to make our gravy. Turn your burner on to medium heat, and as that is warming, we will add cold milk to a large measuring cup or bowl, along with our flour and salt and pepper. Whisk everything together really well and slowly start to add the milk mixture into our hot pan. Whisk the juices and milk mixture together in the pan and allow it to heat for about 30 seconds before adding in a little bit more milk. Continue the same process until your milk mixture is gone and your gravy is nice and thick. If you prefer a thicker gravy, you can add in another cup of milk along with a quarter cup of flour to your mixture, but be sure that everything is whisked together well as you slowly add it in. If you prefer a thinner gravy, just add more milk. Once your gravy has reached your desired consistency, you can add back in the sausage crumbles. Stir everything together for about a minute to combine the flavors and then add salt and pepper to taste. 
All right, the gravy is done and so are the biscuits. Wow, don't those look great. I cannot wait to enjoy this breakfast. If you're looking for a Christmas morning breakfast idea, this is what I will be preparing for my family this year. I will say that this can be made the night before and reheated in the morning. A lot of times I make everything the night before and just cook the biscuits the next morning as I'm warming the gravy. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for supporting our farm. We're so glad that you found our channel. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more awesome recipes, click the video below.